Hey gang, Scott here. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I use quite a number of editing tools for my photography. You know, I've got uh, you know, Lightroom, On One, Topaz, uh, there's Photoshop, of course, and Luminar Neo. Uh, now, Luminar Neo is a tool that I haven't really talked about a lot in, um, in, in a bunch of months, if, if not longer, but it is in my toolkit, and I do use it. And recently, I've been kind of rediscovering Luminar Neo, uh, and especially as a finishing tool. And I hadn't opened it up in, in, in honestly, in quite a while. Just hadn't, hadn't fallen into a place where, ah, I need this tool to, uh, to finish off my workflow. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised at how, uh, I guess, Luminar has, has matured. You know, over maybe four or five years ago, yeah, the, the interface was changing like every year, and then it was, you know, a, a new product, a different product. You know, everything kind of settled down with Luminar Neo, and they've just been adding to it over and over and just making that particular product better and better, which I think is very sane. <laughs> it's a really good choice by Skylum. And um, anyway, but, but what, what I wanted to share with you is, is how I've been using Luminar Neo as a finishing tool. And that last 10% or so of a photo. That's how I use Luminar Neo. And uh, I, I've tended to do this a lot with my travel photos in the past. You know, I'd have, you know, uh, just photos of, you know, walking around a city or, or you know, slice of life type of things. And uh, less so with my landscapes. But as I got back into looking at Neo, because I was working on some travel photos from the past, it's like, oh, what about using this for my landscapes too? What, what, what can I do here? And I've been really uh, pleased with the results. Again, as a finishing tool, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep stressing that. For me, Luminar Neo is, you know, a uh, an addition to. Like I will use this in addition to other tools. It's not my single editor. But uh, let's look at a few uh, before and after examples, and then we'll dive into one of them to show you. Well, what are the the handful of filters and tools I'm reaching for in Luminar Neo to finish off a photo? Now this is the photo that kind of got me going in uh, Luminar Neo again. So took this years ago in Venice. Uh, I think it's at the uh, the uh, the farther end of the Grand Canal. And it, you know, midday, but I, I kind of just liked the whole, you know, it's kind of just got a, a faded bit of a you know, vintage blue feel to it. Leaned into that. This is the processing in Lightroom. And I, then I took it over into Neo and emerged with this. You know, really leaned into that washed out feeling, brought the architecture up a little more, you know, kept some of the oranges and reds and colors. But this level of editing in Neo was less than two minutes. I mean, it was very, very quick. It was, you know, I was 90% uh, of the way there, right? I was here. And then with a few filters, a few tools got here and leveraging some of the uh, the fundamental AI they have in it to say, oh, I want this only on the architecture. I want this on the water. It made it very, very quick and easy to, uh, to take care of. Let me show you one more example in the uh, travel category and then we'll move on to landscapes. So this photo, another one from a few years ago, I was going back through my catalog, and I'd, I'd done a version of this in the past. You know, really like this one. This one got kind of screamed like that HDR kind of feel, but it's pretty tame. This was what was done in Lightroom, and then finished it off in Luminar Neo here. And you can see that there's more detail, there's more structure in, in the wood, and the glow you know, before and then after that's coming through that window where the light's coming in that's just really nicely you know laying out through the rest of the frame and again i've always been a fan of glow looks from luminar you can go back years in my youtube videos and you'll hear me saying the same thing again and again i do very much like the way that luminar applies a glow and that was one of the key things to this this particular photo again you know before and after. Like I said, just that last 10%, maybe in this photo, even just that last 5%. But well, what about landscapes? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a landscape guy. Most of my photos are landscapes. It got me thinking, all right, well, um, you know, let, me, let, me, uh, let me have a, another pass at Luminar Neo here of my landscape work. Uh, going through older photos, I, I had a bunch from Iceland. I want to show you some here. So this one was catching the very tail end of, of sunlight at the end of the day, and it was, you know, 
heading uh, back from somewhere. This was, you know, a family vacation, so it wasn't necessarily a full photo trip. And I was like, sorry, gang, I got to pull over, side of the road, <laughs> get this photo, grabbed it, did all my work in Lightroom, and then finished it in Luminar Neo and got this. And it's just a little bit richer, right? Before, after. A little more pop in the sky, the 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 tonality, the, the the color richness is just a little bit more. It's like there's a little bit of film here, and then it got removed. And you know, could I have accomplished that in Lightroom? Sure, but I could accomplish it in Luminar Neo in 90 seconds. So I'll do that, and I'll move on to my next photo. Uh, you know, it's 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 one of those things where I, I find that type of workflow works better for me. One more, and then this one I want to dive into here. Here we go, classic landscape. You know, we've got rock, we've got sky, nice valley, you know, wonderful layers here. This is the work done in Lightroom, and then brought it through Neo, and this is the results. You know, things are just, this, this photo much more sings than this one did. You know, the nuanced contrast, the mountains in the back getting a little bit cooler, a little bit darker, the foreground rock prominent, crisp, the sky's got more character. And, you know, this was just a series of, uh, you know, quick filters in Luminar or tools, I guess they call them in Luminar. Uh, let's dive into this one and I'll show you just the, the, the typical things that I'm doing with these finishing touches in Luminar Neo. Right, so here we are in Luminar Neo. Let me hold down the backslash key for a second. So this is the photo as brought in to Neo and then this is after. And generally what I'm fiddling with for a landscape is, uh, is really just a few things. I mean, I can even collapse some of these things down because I don't necessarily use them. Favorites, I'll use Enhance AI. Uh, I may or may not use a vignette. Structure, for sure. I am a big fan of Mystical, and I will usually tailor that a little bit. And I'll show you what I mean. Portrait, you know, not using Professional rare because I'm coming in here as a finishing touch. So, you know, my, my go-to's enhance, structure, and mystical, depending on the photo, maybe glow. And what's important to me, you can see the edits on this one here. So if I go down the stack, you know, here's the enhance. So this was the photo that came out, uh, or I brought into, rather, Luminar Neo from Lightroom. And then the AI, you know, enhance AI. This still does wonders for a processed photo when you're bringing it in from some other tool. And it's it's smaller touches, right? These these values on these sliders are low. You know, there's only a little bit of accent, and I, I'm not going to push it all the way. To me, that's that's just too much. I don't I don't want that much power on it. I prefer to be a little more subtle and build the look up. This one I did use landscape mainly for a little bit of warmth. That's not particularly interesting. But let's look at mystical. Now here's mystical. And you can see that I ended up taking it away. Normally I would use some of it, take it away. But when I use mystical, what mystical does is it gives this dreamier look, right? You can see before and after. Now this photo, I want all that sharpness. But what I would consider doing with mystical is doing something like this, but then using the masking and either using something like object select to say, you know, um, right now I'm applying it there, but you know, subtract it. I don't want to have that object affected by mystical. I'll make the rest of the scene dreamy. Don't touch that foreground rock. Keep that crisp. You know, in my case, I'm going to uh, take that away. Looks like it didn't quite get what I wanted. So here I would go ahead, invert that mask, and now you're going to see, you know, everything except that foreground rock get kind of dreamy. That's how I'm using things like mystical. The glow looks, they tend to be more intelligent and really just target bright things. But mystical, if there's certain elements I don't want to get a little bit soft, a little bit ethereal, like that Orton look from the, you know, the way back when, take a look at the masking tools. Pick a few objects that you want to keep crisp. And finally here was structure, you know, just adding a little more boost to all of the, the details throughout the photo. You can see that difference there. But again, all those things added up. Before, after, before, after. Or, you know, I guess we can look at the side-by-side -side view. And you can really see 
the difference. Uh, I tend not to bother with presets for these because it really is add a tool, add a tool, add a tool, a couple of clicks, and within you know a minute or so, I'm, I'm out of Luminar Neo, I'm done. But I've added that last 10% on the photo. And I wanna show you this one one more time side by side. This was the work done in Lightroom, and this is the finished photo. That little extra bits in Neo are really adding up. So uh, I've been having fun rediscovering Luminar Neo. Uh, you know, it's a tool that's been sitting on my computer for quite a while. And uh, I think I'm going to be giving it a little more attention uh, in the future as these, uh, these like this and these accents, these finishing touches to photos. Uh, I hope you found the video interesting, useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.